So today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I usually shoot. Um, one of the things that, you know, I do kind of behind the scenes that goes directly along with my day job is working on, you know, computers and stuff. And the laptop that I use to do all my video editing has been acting up lately. And so today I'm going to actually go through and replace the fans um, out of the bottom of the laptop because one of them is going bad. I'm pretty confident the bearings are bad. And so I've already gone through and worked with support to diagnose it so that they would send me the parts. And so today's video is going to be a little bit about what's going to be completely about uh, replacing the fans in this laptop. And the reason I'm taking a video of it is because while it's not related to homesteading or farming or anything else, um, it is necessary for me to keep shooting these videos. So I, while I could use another computer for a little while, this one's actually better suited for the type of work that I'm doing. And so I want to make sure that I get that fixed so that I can keep editing these videos. And this will probably be one of the only times you see me doing this kind of stuff unless people decide that it's interesting to them. Um, you know, these, this is much more along the lines of what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And usually I'm not working on laptops. It's usually servers and uh, network equipment. But um, yeah, so if anybody does find this interesting and wants to see more of it, I'll be happy to, you know, take more of these videos if and when I'm doing work on those uh, devices. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to keep it to what I'm usually recording on because that's the stuff that, frankly, I find interesting. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I have not actually had this computer apart yet. Um, this is a Dell Precision. Let's see, get better light on that. This is a Dell Precision 5540. And what is happening is that the fan, let's see, this fan over here near the power adapter, when the computer spins up and it's warm, uh, this fan is humming and rattling. Um, and I'd already checked to make sure that, you know, it wasn't anything externally visibly wrong with it. Uh, there's no damage to it anywhere that would have caused it. Um, and I used some compressed air to blow it out to make sure there wasn't something literally in the fan rattling. But, um, you know, if you've worked around equipment like this for any amount of time, you, you know, you can usually tell what the sound of a bad bearing is in one of these fans. All right, so the cover on this actually appears to be a T4, which is a Torx head uh, size 4, which is microscopically small. Now, one thing I don't have that I would absolutely suggest is if you do this very often, get, get a magnet tray. These little screws are very easy to lose, and there are a lot of them when you start taking apart a laptop. It's not uncommon to end up with extras. Anybody that's done this will get the, uh, <laughs> the reference there. I actually almost forgot there are two additional screws underneath the uh, little flap here which is I think the newer models don't even do that flap anymore oh, and those are actually a different style These are actually a Phillips tip. And it's actually a different style screw entirely. These have a shoulder on them, apparently. I don't know if you can see that real well. Start at the corner here and see what we got. There. 
right, make sure nothing's attached on the bottom. Everything looks good. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna actually do is disconnect the battery. Um, it is generally best practice to uh, make sure that you don't have power in, in the system whenever you're working on stuff like this. Sometimes getting these connectors loose though can be a little bit challenging. power disconnected ah, and it actually says <laughs> right there actually disconnect the battery before accessing any parts or devices anyways so I'm gonna start so they sent me both fans even though only one of them was making noise so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the one that was a problem and then I'll come back to I'll come back to the other one. So there are two screws that hold these in. And so there's one there. And one here. fan plug is over here. All right, easy enough. So this is the one that was a problem. Fortunately, I don't really see any major issues. The fan does maybe feel just a touch loose compared to what I'm used to. And there was a little bit of dust in there, but nothing significant. And so I'm gonna actually going to go ahead and take the other one out before I put one back in. So let me actually make sure I have... Sorry for a little bit of bad camera angle uh, on that last shot. So something, you know, I mentioned, you know, checking to make sure that you get the right fans. Uh, these are the two new fans that I just got. And you actually notice this is the exact same, exact same fan. The item numbers for uh, these are actually not the same. Yet I have the exact same fan. And the two fans in my system are not identical. So I've got two fans for this side and no new fans for this side. Now, fortunately, this fan was not humming and making noise like that one was. So I've got a fan to replace the one that was bad. But they actually sent me uh, one of these parts is actually the wrong part. They were supposed to replace both of these. I actually should have checked that before I even taken the screws. So I'm going to... Since I already have it loose, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pull it up and blow everything out because there's a little bit of uh, junk in here and I want to make sure that I get all these fan and heat pipes and stuff cleaned out. That way, once it's back together, I don't have to worry about taking it apart again. All right, so I actually just got off of a... Well, I haven't actually gotten off of it yet. I just finished talking to uh, one of the support people and... They're offering to, you know, help correct it and get me the other fan for this side. But I think what I'm going to actually do in the meantime is test it and see if my noise is gone. And um, I may not actually need to replace this one. I'm going to actually um, 
at least get it put back together enough to turn it on and test it and see if it's making any more noise and then work with support to see what we want to do. All right, I think all I need to do to at least test it is to get the battery reconnected, which I'm going to do now. All right, double check all my connections, make sure everything's seated. Make sure everything looks clear in here. And then I'm going to actually put the case back on it, but not put all the screws in yet. Uh, and this is just so that I can make sure the airflow and stuff is functioning like you would expect. I could turn it on without doing that. But this will allow me to make sure that it wasn't some sort of, you know, interference with the case or something of that nature. It just, it's better to test it the way it is going to be running permanently as opposed to testing it another way. One or two of these little screws in and see what, what we have. Alright, I think we're okay to at least turn it on and test it and see what we get. Fans didn't kick on start up, so I'm gonna actually put a put a little load on it. I'm gonna run my video editing software and let that start putting some load onto the system. It should kick on pretty quick after that. And for I guess for anybody uh, interested, I actually started learning how to use DaVinci Resolve because it's you know free for the most part. There's some extra features you'd have to pay for, but um, I didn't want to do that. And I had some experience from back in the day in school with with Adobe products, um, but those are very expensive, and I'm not a professional, so I didn't want to pay for that. I just heard the fans kick in. Give it a minute, see what it does. All right, good news is both fans are running, and I don't yet hear any any of the rattling or humming. I'll let this continue to run for a minute. All right, so I just got done working with support, and we did a bunch of tests. Uh, ran a stress test on the machine, then I went in and did some advanced diagnostics, and had to test out the fans. Everything checked out. No more noise. Um, everything seemed to be doing like it's supposed to. All the temperatures regulated like they're supposed to. Um, so I think we're I think we're gonna forego having them ship out the second uh, fan. So I'm going to finish putting the screws back in the bottom here and we're pretty much good to go. So I'm happy with the results. Um, you know, I'm not too upset about the fan thing. Like I said, I wasn't expecting both anyways. And, uh, you know, if I recall how these are set up, this model in particular, one fan is, is really to help cool the, um, processor and the other is to help cool the, um, graphics card so they the way the heat pipes run it looks like it probably they work in conjunction but they're actually labeled um processor fan and graphics fan so um you know we'll we'll keep an eye on it we've still got another uh, about four or five months of warranty on this thing so we got time to let it let it run i use it pretty much daily so it'll get its use but yeah if you enjoyed this video or you know, find it interesting. Like I said, this isn't a typical video that I'll sh shoot on my channel, but you know, if people find it interesting or want to see more of it, um, I sometimes tinker with uh, crypto mining. I've got a couple servers around um, that have been retired, like R series servers and you know some tower servers and stuff. So, um, you know, I'll tinker with those occasionally, doing a little bit of crypto mining and stuff. So if anybody has any interest in that I might shoot some of those videos but but otherwise I'm gonna stick to the outdoor stuff which is where I want to be so I'm actually gonna get off of here finish this laptop up and I got some stuff I gotta take care of so uh, if you enjoyed follow um, if you want to see more of the outdoor stuff let me know and I'll talk to you guys again next time